Well, good morning. It's um, all shortly before 11 o'clock this a.m. My son Brandon fed me a really good breakfast. Eggs, biscuit, and turkey sausages. And uh, I'm in the office. I do have to do some work this afternoon in here. Um, but I thought I'd take the opportunity for the new subscribers to answer some questions about me. Um, first thing I'm going to do is get this camera off the tripod and give you kind of a pan around of my office here. Yeah, there's a lot of musical instruments over there, not just guitars. Memorabilia. I do have the air conditioner on. There's a spear my two youngest adopted sons, Matt and Mike, bought me, which I really appreciate. That's a gag sign tag from one of our vehicles in Oklahoma. Oh. And that's a walking cane my youngest son and his wife gave me. In Oklahoma, well, I'll explain some things. Yeah, there's a lot of guitars. I do play guitar. I have a problem I'll explain in a minute that I'm getting remedied here in a couple of months. Um, I've had a lot of damage to my left hand. I can play guitar for about a minute, minute and a half, and then my hand has excruciating pain. There's keyboards. I also play keyboards. Same problem, pounding on them with my left hand. And there's a drum set behind my refrigerator back there. A couple of swords from my sword collection. I got one on the wall behind me. There's a knife with a, on a placard with pictures of my three grandsons my son Chris made and gave to me. That's software up there on a shelf. There's uh, a check that Oklahoma Gas and Electric sent me for 21 cents, I believe it is. Uh, they felt guilty over me overpaying them all the time. Um, photograph of me sitting behind two big computers at my old home in Darty, Oklahoma. Uh, I'm a novelist. I'm working on one now. Um, there's a wall clock I've got to replace because it's lost time since the day I bought it. Um, I'll do that this week sometime. Picture of Goya Claw. Everyone knows is Geronimo. Picture of me and uh, actor portraying Abraham Lincoln so a running joke is um, I uh, the oldest the most famous person I've ever met is Abraham Lincoln a uh, photograph of my old FCC or uh, yeah FCC license for radio it's still active I just no longer do radio um, A rock I painted, drew on, um, software up there, uh, Choctaw hymnal. I am Choctaw Indian part. Uh, my dad was Native American. My birth mother was Scandinavian. That's a picture of her there. And that's a Al Capone I did with uh, Play-Doh and modeling clay when I was uh, in the seventh grade or sixth grade, I don't remember. Now I'm gonna turn this thing back around and put it back on the uh, on the uh, tripod. That hand, you notice my right hand, the fingers closed. Left hand, they don't. That hand's been crushed. I've been stabbed through it. Um, the bones right there have bone spurs. 
that in between the knuckles that make it almost impossible to make a fist on that hand. Um, let me get a sip. Um, I have had inquiries, yes. I have been a professional musician. I've been a professional singer before. My wife made the comment to my youngest adopted son, Matt, you've never heard him sing. Uh, I'm going deaf. Uh, my right ear, I use a, a prosthetic that is a hearing aid, but it, uh, it's a filtered hearing aid, which allows me to hear like a normal ear. My next step after that, my, my left ear, I'm about 90% on hearing in it. On my right ear, I'm about 10% on it. The next step would be one of those uh, things, the uh, cochlear ear implant, I'll never do that. Um, I have macular degeneration, uh, therefore when I'm out in a room, I don't have the the uh, fluorescent lighting on. If I did, the room would look like that. But I wear what I call my blind man glasses because I have to have them. Um, I'm an old guy. I'm not going to give you how old I really am. Uh, it's not vanity on my part. I just don't feel like sharing that information. Um, Two of my best friends in the music world died here a while back. Um, a guy named Steve Harden. You can Google him. I don't know if you'll find anything on Michael Smotherman. Michael had written over uh, 500 songs, been recorded by everybody. Michael and I had been friends for since we were in our teens, and he's uh, he was an extremely close friend of mine. He died of uh, basically a heart attack. His heart gave out. Steve Harden, I'm not going to say how he died, uh, but he was like a, a brother to me. I've got other friends in music that you've probably heard of. I'm not going to name drop the reason I mentioned those two. My family got to meet them as well. Um, I've played music with a lot of folks that are famous, many who are still famous, uh, many who are still alive, and they're good friends. They're not Facebook friends. They're not somebody I follow. They're people I actually know. Um, I spent 28 years in law enforcement altogether. I retired from a federal agency um, in 2006. I'm back to work part-time for that agency and for my old boss. I had to, to uh, pick up the gauntlet again, so to speak. I'm an analyst. Um, I'm a lot better educated than I sound like when I talk. Um, and that's part of what I'm going to be doing this afternoon is some analysis for said agency I won't name on here because I've been instructed not to. I've named it before. I will say it's not the FBI and it's not the CIA, but it is an intelligence agency. Um, I've been married to the same woman for 46 years. In March, it'll be 47 years. I'm stone cold totally in love with her. Neither one of us have ever stepped out on the other. Just a second. <coughs> I'm an unabashed Christian. I make no apologies for that. I've got friends that claim to be sons of Odin and they worship and they're going to Valhalla and I've got friends that claim to be atheists and some actually really are I think. How are my friends with them? Well, I try to be friends with everybody. I have 
black friends that are close friends. Um, I have an absolute aberration for racist, racist. Racism does not have a place in my life uh, whatsoever. It, uh, and it bothers me that many people feel that that's okay. I even have folks that justify racism with the Bible. Well, you can justify or cast aspersions on anything and anybody with the Bible. It depends how you, you interpret it. I absolutely love the Bible. I believe it's the Word of God. I need to get a sip. I uh, I love my family and I love my friends and if you're watching this know that I love you and if you're an enemy of mine I love you I love everybody it's taken me my entire life to get to that point but I am there do I get mad yes I get angry do I curse once in a while it'll slip out um, I don't use profanity as a regular mode of expression uh, that to me is offensive and it shows a great lack of self-control now a few more things about me and I'm sorry that today's vlog is about me but I have new subscribers and I just thought I would let you know what it what is and what isn't with me. I make extra money and there for a while I made our living out of this office. It's about a, a 10 foot, 11 foot by 20 foot office. It's not very big so let's just say 10 by 2200 square feet. It's not very big at all. It suits my purposes. Next door to me is a shop and, and uh, through that wall is storage where my son Chris's stuff is. And um, that is my life in a nutshell. Oh yeah, I am, I used to wear a black glove all the time. Explanation, this is a, a, a an arthritis bracelet, my friend my church brother Charles Brady has a nice shiny one, silver. I don't know where he got it or what he paid for it. It's none of my business, but he is talking about breaking his wrist or hand or something climbing. And he wears that now and he wears his watch on his right wrist. Charles Brady is a really great guy. I love him with all my heart. And I was telling him I bought one of these Oh, a couple of years ago and I paid 200 bucks for it because I was an idiot. Uh, the guy that sold it to me saw me coming, I'll say that. Uh, I didn't know then you can buy them for $20 or less all day and all night. Uh, I bought that one for $6 and some change, $6 in tax. And uh, it works really well. It works better than the expensive one I'd bought before, which kind of weirds me out to be that cheap and work this well. The outside looks like that. It was black. I sanded it off because I started wearing it off. The inside, each one of those little dots is a magnet color coded for black, white, red, and uh, plain silver and what it does that, that indicates the type magnet is it is there are different kinds of magnets and it uh, divides it up for different purposes my late friend Steve Harden bought some really strong magnets and he taped them to his hands when he was playing keyboards um, and he gave me some and I don't know where they're at I have lost them I can order more but this works just as well it really does 
Now, I gotta get off of here. I'm really busy. I gotta take my son Brandon to work here shortly. And uh, I just want you to know, if you're watching this, I love you. Now, I want you to, to thank God for your blessings every day because if you're able to watch this, you're blessed. But if you're drawing breath, if you're alive, you are blessed. He's your Father. He loves you. And like the sign up there says, be kind. Always and ever be kind. Love you. God bless you. And bye.